This is a video on testing for a correlation. The question states, is there a correlation between sugar consumption and cavities? The data are shown below. Use a level of significance alpha equals 0 0.05. So here are the data. We have grams of sugar consumed and we have the number of cavities. I want to perform a hypothesis test for the correlation. So for my null hypothesis, that says that there is no correlation between grams and cavities. If there's no correlation, that means that the population correlation, which I call rho, is equal to zero. The alternative hypothesis is that there is a correlation. And if there is a correlation, then the population correlation rho is not equal to zero. So just like any hypothesis test, I need to find a p-value. So let's go to our calculator and do the statistics to perform the test. So here's the calculator. I want to enter the data in for grams and cavities. So I go to stat and then edit. Let's clear out L1 and L2. And for L1, I will put the grams data in. So that's 38 and 45, etc. And then finally, 120. For L2, I will put in the cavities data. So 0 and 3, etc. And then finally, I put in 5. Now that I've entered my data, I go to Stat, Tests, and I use my up arrow to find LINREG t-test. t-test because we're conducting a hypothesis test and LINREG because it's a hypothesis test on the linear regression. So I hit enter. The X list is L1. The Y list is L2. The frequency is 1. And if you recall, our alternative hypothesis was that rho was not equal to zero. So not equal to, is correct. I'm not going to graph, so I don't need reg EQ. And I go to calculate. The important value is the p value. And here the calculator tells us that the p value is about equal to 0 0.018. Also, just of interest, the correlation, R, is about equal to 0 0.84. It's a pretty strong correlation. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. OK, here's the PowerPoint. And recall that our p-value was about 0 0.018, and our correlation was equal to 0 0.84. So in particular, the p-value which is about 0 0.018, is less than the level of significance 0 0.05, which is equal to alpha. So the conclusion when the p-value is less than alpha is that we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. So I can conclude that there is statistically significant evidence to conclude that there is a linear correlation between sugar consumption and number of cavities. And I'm done with the problem.